Well, um, so why? Why, why did you choose South Korea? Uh, I know you're going to ask me that, but <laughs> I still don't have a great answer for you, except the fact that I've, I've been here a, a couple of times before I actually settled over here. And one was for New Year's, a few years back, here with a few friends. And the second was for the Winter Olympics. So both times I was here, I had an amazing time. And moving from Melbourne, uh, was looking at which Asian play, which Asian city I'd like to go to. And it was with my girlfriend, we were looking at what would be a good opportunity both for her and for my, myself. And yeah, we just kind of settled on Seoul really because we we'd lived in Hong Kong, as I stated earlier. And we felt that Seoul would probably be our next favorite choice, having already experienced it. Okay. Um, so now you have lived in South Korea for a year, almost a year. Yes, and almost a year to yeah. the day. Yeah. What difficulty did you have? And difficulties? Oh, you mean like as in culture shock? Yeah, culture shock, or well, in general. Or like, were there any like bad experience you you felt from South Korea? <laughs> mm, that's an interesting question because I, I don't really feel like I've had any real bad experiences in South Korea. I would I would recommend it for somebody if they're looking for somewhere to move to, or like an expat to move to a different city. I think Seoul would be a great option. I've had mostly positive experiences, and when I think about the type of advantages that Seoul has, I think, safety, it's an extremely safe city, the people are very friendly, respectful, and generally, they've been very welcoming, a lot of Koreans have just been so nice and help you to settle, so I like that about the country, um, and yeah, there's, it's not really a difficult place to live, I'll be totally honest, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head where I was like, this has been a problem, um, if you're really looking for something, if you're really looking for an issue that maybe I may have had, it may have been the language. Yeah. Um, I lived in Hong Kong before and it was a lot easier and um, not knowing the local language, not knowing Cantonese because pretty much everybody would speak English, whereas here that's not the case. Um, some people do speak good English, but it's, it's, not, as, it's not as popular. Uh, here, I don't think. Okay, so language barrier, um, that, that um, could be the only difficult. Yes, that would be yeah. the big, the big one that stands out for me if I was to choose one. Yeah. Okay. Well, are, are you being honest? Did, are you like, you're all, you've been all talking about the positive things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, is, it, is it because you are like, I mean, in front of the camera? <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, I, I honestly are racking my brain and um, the language barrier is the, is the big one and if I could 